warming me up my breakfast. Got me a new hard hat liner I'm going to put in my hard hat this morning, or suspension. And so it begins! Let's get this party started! How many of y'all can walk along? I know the wind's blowing. It's supposed to have some storms coming through. It's supposed to be rainy and rainy. It's cutting us some slack right now on Friday morning. This is our current situation right now. It's uh, it's right at lunch. That's load number eight right there. It's done started raining on us pretty good. I've got one truck hung up on the hill out there, and Dad's stuck right here. I couldn't do anything with him with my loader. So we got Kevin. Kevin's fixing to pull this truck out. We're gonna get Dad out of here, and I got two more empty ones out there. We're gonna try to get them out too. Get them loaded and get them out if we can. This rain is coming on down pretty good now. Let's see. Them. So Derek's hooked to the uh, truck that's on the hill stuck right now with the uh, road grader pulling him on up. Alright, they're fixing to take off. I'm going to open this door where y'all can hear them go. Y'all listen to these two things when they go. Dad's not even helping him. That, that 850, that's a, that's a man right there now. Look at that.
That's number 10. I got one more to load and then we're going to the house. That's load number 11 right there. We about to shut her down and go to the house. We didn't get a full day, but we're going to call it a full day. That's what we're going to do. It's uh, 12.50 right now. Get him on out of here. Chad's there waiting on me to take me back to my truck. My truck's sitting way up there on the hill. All right, let's see if the old ram can uh, make it out. Right here. It's done gotten bad. It's done rained more than what we realized it had here. Okay. We got all the turnouts open with the water run off the roof, so that's good. What you have to do in this truck here that I have to do, I have to cut the traction control off and then hold it, put it in where it's in manual shift where you can stay on top of the RPMs. Cause this son gun here shift out on you. You hit a you hit a good spot of shifting too high of a gear and then it pulls back down, you're screwed in. But if you can stay on top of the RPMs like I am right there with it, and she'll uh she'll go on. Let's see if Kevin and them can get out right there in the service truck. I'm going to pull right up here and just wait on them in case I have to drag them right there right quick. Boy, it is raining. What you talking about? I don't know if y'all can see him in the mirror, but he's about to work it around here. Maybe he can get it. Oh, yeah, I think he's got it now. All right, let's get on out of this hole here. Yeah. This is the crest of that big hill right here. And uh, Scott Scott tried to come up a while ago and empty. And when he, when he got to where he stopped, he actually slid back down it. So we've been having to really, really gently get these trucks down this hill right here without them something bad happening. Water running down that road. Let's get up here. All right. All the way down and then right back up. rough I'll get over here on the left a little bit and believe it or not them trucks were pulling this hill right here by themselves it's got enough rock on it there we go another dad in the grader we got this man so I'm in the Jeep right now making another post office run uh, Jill took several packages of orders that came in yesterday to the post office today for me and then today while I was in the woods I had some more orders come in so I went ahead and got them ready I'm gonna go ahead and drop them off here now while I'm in town and get it done that's what I do. They come in, I get them jokers right out. I mean, it usually, it's quick. A lot of people say they can't believe they get them that quick, but uh, that's how I roll on that. So let me run in here and get this done. So the night in the live feed, somebody asked me if the machines were still here at Kior, and they've moved one, the 330, it's gone. All three of these are 345s. This one, this one, and that one right there. Those three forty fives ain't no joke. And uh 
There's the uh, pile of rock over there. So I rode out here just to just to look. They're talking about rain, and if it don't rain, I may come out here and haul some of this. You see that smaller pile over on the left? That's some limestone over there that's already ready to go that they brought out from over here and they piled it separately and uh, I may come out and haul haul that right there depending on what the weather does whether it rains or not or anything and uh, Brian told me I could use use this machine right here to load with you know if not if they wasn't out here I'd just bring our backhoe out here to load, load with so we'll see what the weather does anyhow I just thought this would be pretty cool for a size comparison. That's the bucket on that 345, and that's my Jeep right there. <laughs> I mean, you can fit two or three up under the boom of the crazy things. That bucket with it set and curled like that don't make don't like much being as tall as my uh, my Jeep is. <laughs> These things are. In person, they're a lot bigger than what they look on film. All right, so y'all are going to get a second video later on this evening. Mid-afternoon, you know, 5 is 6 is 7 is something like that. I'm about to go get in the dump truck and make several runs in it right quick out to Kiora to haul some rock. So, uh, hope you enjoyed this video here today. Like I said, you're going to get a second video later on, and that'll be the giveaway video for this, uh, for this week. I'm going to give away something each weekend up till uh, Christmas. So y'all stay tuned for that video too. Later taters.